everyone, Joel Hans here, and I'm in the beautiful, the beautiful city of Houston, Texas. Guys, I love Texas, I love Houston, I love everywhere, let's be honest. But Houston and Texas have a big special place in my heart. Guys, I am outside Nu Zhao Zhen, which is a hot pot and Chinese barbecue, yes, Chinese barbecue restaurant. And that's what we're doing today, Chinese barbecue. So Nu Zhao Zhen is supposed to be the best hot pot in Houston, and also the best Chinese barbecue. So if you're not familiar with Chinese barbecue, it is different than like Korean style barbecue, and we're gonna get into that a little bit. This is actually my, my first, it's my first time having a real authentic Chinese style barbecue. And guess what? They have Wagyu beef. Yes, I'm talking guys, some delicious like A5. We got American Wagyu, we got all the marinated ribs, we got all these good things. I'm so excited. I love beef, I love quality meats. And so let's go eat some delicious Chinese barbecue. But yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Um, that's about it. So let's head on in, have some fun. I'm like, I get, I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. So, uh, I love it. Texas, you rock. And uh, let's go have some delicious Chinese barbecue. All right, so here we have literally the most amazing spread of beef I've ever seen in my life in Szechuan Chinese style barbecue. I'm so excited. So we literally have the beautiful looking Wagyu chuck. Guys, this is, we're talking real premium beef. I have an American ribeye. Look at this. Not only is it beautifully marbled, I have a whole freaking steak pumped. I have beef tongue. I have this American Wagyu. Look how beautiful that is. It is literally just absolutely stunning and the portion is giant. I am so shocked. I, I would expect it something like quarter that size. We got a lot of food here. We have this beautiful looking freaking marinated rib. And again, look at the marbling. It is just absolutely beautiful. We have um, all these other kinds of beef. I have pork brains. I decided to try some brains. I've never had pork brains before, so we'll at least try it. Not sure what to expect. Um, we have the uh, garlic pork belly. This also looks very, very, very beautiful. Just look at the way that delicious fat sauce looks. I have an eggplant, gotta have some health. I got some carrots. I have their sauces, Szechuan sauce. I have kind of a Cajun spice. I have a plum sauce. Plus I made my own sauce. They have a whole station just like for the, the hot pot that they also offer here. I mean, go make your own sauce. So this I went with the recommendation. This is a soy sauce with a what they call a mature vinegar. And then they uh, put some chili oil in there as well. So I am so excited if you can't tell. Oh, and I have four guac which is a uh, fattened uh, liver, fattened goose liver. So I've never had that before, so I wanted to give that a try, um, but that's about it. So uh, let's have some fun, let's eat some food, guys. I am so pumped, look at all this, it just, uh, I just let's, let's just get eating. Okay, so like I said, there's really like no place necessarily that I need to start, but I'm gonna probably start um, with throwing on this big old beautiful looking ribeye, because it's gonna probably take the longest to cook. But yeah, that is like, <laughs> I love, I love, like it's, it's a whole freaking steak. So let's just slam that on the old barbecue. You hear that nice sizzle, sizzle? This is gonna be, uh, this is going to be fun. I can already tell. Um, hmm. I'll probably throw on, uh, I think maybe this eggplant. I think the eggplant's also a good place to throw on. Eggplant will probably take a little while. I'm just gonna, cause it's not meat. I'm just gonna kind of shove this, shove this on here. Oh. Lose a flower. Here we go. All right, there we go. Got some health. I do love a good grilled eggplant. Uh, something which is a flavor that's had in a lot of different cuisines. So I really look forward to trying this one in the kind of Szechuan style. I'll throw in some of these short ribs. This is, I can't believe how big of a portion we have, man. This rib is just giant. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful. And here, they gave me uh, they gave me scissors because it was, look at that, just look at this. Just look how gorgeous that is. Oh man, we're in such a treat. I'll throw that on as well. And like, just so much food. I can't believe how much we're getting here. Like, it's actually crazy, crazy for the value. I'll probably put on some of this uh, pork belly as well. The garlic pork belly. I'm like a kid in the candy shop. I'll put on some of this uh, the beef tongue. This is uh, this will cook a little quicker. And just wow, I am like, I am so pumped. So anyway, I'll let a few of these items cook and then we'll get to try them all. All right, so I just pulled off some of our delicious looking meats. So we're about to start on that. Uh, eggplant's almost done, and they also. 
I will say that the hospitality here is amazing. But here we have a Xingtao, which is, I guess, one of the most famous kind of Chinese-style beer. They insisted I try it. I told them I'd try it. So let's try our first uh, Chinese beer. Wow. Very, very smooth, light. Kind of like a, kind of like a Pilsner? Man, you could, uh, you could drink way too many of those. That, that's very easy drinking. So there you go, guys. We have some Chinese beer. And, all right. This is the, the, uh, the uh, beef tongue here. Looks delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Beef. It's so hard to go around with beef. Mm. And the short rib. Oh man, this is going to be good. Oh, I'm so excited here. I remember how fatty this was? Mm. 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 Woo! Beautifully marbled. The flavor on that is so good. Oh wow, man, so rich. That marinade is delicious. Try this delicious looking garlic pork belly. Man, that freaking rib. Woo! That savoriness. It just coats your mouth. And have all these delicious looking sauces as well, which I'm really looking forward to try. garlic rich that is just like the flavor of that grill perfection super impressed by that man this is so dang good all right let's get tried some of these other kinds of beef look at this let's try this freaking wagyu this is going to be like i think game changers here i'll throw some of that on i'll throw on some of this uh, new orleans chicken I wish you guys like this, this beef, this American Wagyu, guys, it is just like basically melting. Like the high fat content, it just looks exceptional. Put this ribeye as well. Oh man, that is just so beautiful. I'm so excited, I can't believe this. I think it's out of all the Szechuan, the different spices here, I have my own sauce I made. Damn guys, this looks so good. This is. I am so impressed. I can't believe how much I got for the money. Like I said, the value is just out of this world. All right. American Wagyu. I don't know if you guys can see, but just how, like, delicate that meat is. Like, it doesn't bounce like meat. Because it is just absolutely so fatty, so delicious. is like eating butter. That is fantastic. I have had like A5 and really high class Wagyu and this absolutely stands with it. Wow. Oh man. Damn that is too good. That's yeah that is fantastic. I'm shocked. I'm speechless. I'll try to take this uh, let's try this eggplant. Woo. I'm gonna throw in some of this, uh, this delicious looking chuck. Damn, I didn't realize how big these pieces were. Look at this. Look how freaking big and beautiful that is. That's crazy. Okay, this is only gonna take one second. Like I said, I have my, my sauces, but I almost wanna get a, uh, I almost wanna just get some salt. Like, just the beautiful flavors of that beef. Oh man, guys, this is so delicate. The fattiness of that meat, it's barely staying apart or like staying together. Man. Oh my gosh, it's such a treat. I can't believe this. Like you can literally basically see through it. Can you see that? You can see through how like fatty and tender that is. I'm just gonna use my hands. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Oh my God. Man, that is too good. Holy cow. Holy cow, man. Guys, I am sorry, but I wish I could share this with you. Damn, that is just like, I'm speechless. 
That was just like the best thing ever. I'm gonna try my little sauce here with eggplant in it. Ooh, that's really delicious actually. The flavor of that. Like I said, I like the grilled eggplant. Lots of garlic on it. Slow on this foie gras. It is just absolutely falling apart. Throw that in the grill just for a second. I think people, it's like a pate. A lot of people have it as a pate. Maybe you can even eat it raw. I don't know. If you know, comment down below. But it is just absolutely delicately sizzling there. Just flash it here real quick on the other side. And uh, let's stock this, this, uh, this grill back up. I'll throw on some of this American Wagyu, which is, again, look how freaking beautiful that is. It is too nice. This is a time where I almost feel bad if not sharing with people. I got my four gras. Let's try it, hopefully it's not too hot. Melts your mouth like butter. Fatty, fatty, fatty liver. In the best way possible. A real delicacy around the world. I think the uh, other items we haven't tried yet, we haven't tried the uh, pork brains and the ginger beef, which we have yet to try. But let's try that out. All right, so here we got some of the American Wagyu. It's all cooked up. Uh, I'm going to try this. Uh, I might try it in my little sauce I have here. So again, the nice thing to have a sauce station which you can make with whatever you want. Again, I have soy sauce, vinegar, and chili oil. Ooh, it's super fatty, tender beef. A little bit of sodium and acidity from the, uh, the sauce really helps balance the flavor on that that kind of fat. I think this is done. Our steak, a beautiful American ribeye. I can't believe the whole freaking steak here. I'm gonna put that there for a second just to cool down. And that is deliciously salt and peppered. Maybe I'll just try a bite of it. I don't know if I have a knife, I have the scissors, so. Beautiful pepper, beautiful piece of meat. I cooked it about a, a rare thing right. Grab this uh, Wagyu here. Oh man. Delicious. Let's try, I'll try the, uh, again, the spice here. I think it's a Cajun spice. Try with that. Mm. Really nice pairing. I'll try this with this uh, Szechuan here. Mm. Such a beautiful flavor on that Szechuan. It's um, it, like it is it is pretty spicy, but there's some garlic, some onion in there, and just a little bit of acidity, which really helps like bring out the extra flavor. Try the carrot. I like it. It's almost more like a yam. I think this uh, New Orleans chicken looks pretty done to me. It's hard just taking it and putting it on a plate. I just wanted to go right in my mouth like a nice flavor actually. I get like, um, how do I describe that? A little bit of a lemon, garlic, water chestnut, good flavor. All right, I got some salt. So let's dive into this delicious looking ribeye here. Man, I guess it looks, I'm just like, like I said, I'm so excited. And this has been absolutely fantastic here. Um, yeah, the flavors, just the taste of everything. Just here we go. Nice looking ribeye. Mm. Oh man. Woo. A delicious beef, that salt. I love beef. And that's what this place is really known for. No very beef. Let's load up this grill real good. Oh, and then we gotta try the brain. And it's garlic beef. I forgot about that. There you go. Garlic beef and brain. 
pork brains. I do look forward to trying that. I've never had brains before. That is just absolutely amazing. And I tell you, this freaking Wagyu Chuck, the A5, the Kobe beef, Beef and salt. Oh my god. Alright, this uh, beef, uh, beef tongue is done. But you've never had beef tongue. It sounds scary, but it's really not. It's nice, it's just meat. It's uh, it's pretty. Uh, it actually is like you can get some like really nice marbling in it. It's very tender. It has a great flavor, a good beefy flavor. It's not for them. They're right. This vinegar and soy sauce combo. It's beautiful. It's acidic. It's salty. I am a fan. I am a fan. I'm gonna try this garlic beef. And then we're going back to the beautiful freaking Wagyu Chuck there, guys. I uh, think that was just a life-changing, and what you said, with like a little bit of addition, it's gonna be even crazier. Garlic beef. Wow. Tender. I'm gonna see if I can demonstrate how tender this is. Look at this, try to, try to just like, get a bite. I basically took nothing to pull apart. Great flavor. I'm impressed. Let's throw this Wagyu Chuck on. Like I said, this is only, only needs to be on there for a second. But uh, man, I tell you, these like pieces, they're, it's, it's like, it's so, it's so, uh, I can barely pick it up. Like, it just basically just like melts. Look at that, and it's, it's bigger, it's still rolled up. Woo wee! Man, like I said, it's like literally almost see through. I don't know if you can see that. Oh man, that is such a beautiful thing. Man, this is just like, like I said, I don't know if you can tell the difference in the fat the content on that, but it just like literally falls apart. It's like, I would get arguably closer to butter than it is fat. I'm just gonna try with a little bit of salt on it. Cause I think that'll be just like, probably blow my mind. So let's see what this is like. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Oh man. Melt in your mouth. Melt in your freaking mouth. Mm. Oh my god. So tender, guys. So tender. That is like literally life changing. Some of this pork belly. Super delicious, even after that beautiful wagyu. All right, I am going to try some of these brains. I've never had brains before. No clue to expect. So the consistency is very, uh, it's very goopy. See that? Very, very goopy. But uh, I'll try it. I'll try pretty much anything once. So I'll try to put these uh, on the barbecue there. Let's see what that's all like. Okay, so the brains, I, I think, are almost done. Yeah, I've never cooked brains before, so we'll let that do that. Um, in the meantime, there is a very specialty item here that they told me to try. So they call this plum juice. The interesting thing about it is they said that apparently some people think it tastes like barbecue sauce. So I'm not really sure what to expect. I mean, to me it just looks like, like a brown juice, maybe like an iced coffee. It looks pretty, I don't know, almost like a tea. But uh, let's give it a go. Oh, 
Okay. That's pretty different. Uh... You know what? It almost tastes smoky. Or like peaty. I see what they mean with like the almost barbecue sauce. It does taste a little... meaty. Interesting. Something I'd say worth trying. But very interesting. It's a, it's a very interesting flavor. I'm gonna grab some of my, uh, my lovely Szechuan flavors here. Dose up and flavor some of these beefs. Use some of this uh, lovely looking uh, Cajun sauce as well. Mm. Very delicious. And they do have a lot of uh, seafood items here. Which that would actually, oh man. Mm. That's Szechuan. Moment of truth. I wanted to try it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about it, but here we got some brains. So these are pork brains, everybody. Let's try some pork brains. Let's see what pork brains are like. I'll get a drink and cleanse my palate before. And we will dive into our pork brain adventure. All right, wish me luck. Pork brains. Okay. All right, let's break it down. You know what this is like? It is the consistency and it tastes like egg yolks. Like a really silky coat in your mouth scrambled egg like slightly i don't want to say undercooked but really soft cooked scrambled egg interesting brains never have i ever never you know i'll be honest there's a lot of foods that i'm like oh maybe i'll try it one day brains never really crossed my mind but it's pretty good not bad pretty good would i try it i'm glad i tried it will i try it again Yes. Is it something that I would just order all the time? Not sure yet. But we're pretty much running out of a couple items here. Plus I'm running out of time. We'll have a little bit more of this beautiful short rib, which was awesome, the marinated rib. And we'll finish off with our, uh, our lovely Wagyu chuck. All right, I kind of loaded the uh, grill back up a bit. So here we got some of the, uh, the short rib pieces. I threw on the uh, rest of the uh, carrot as well. Man, those ribs. Look how, look how beautiful and fatty this rib is. Can you just see the glisten, the dripping, shimmering, delicious fat just pouring off that? Man, and it just, it just fills the plate. I put it on the plate and it just fills it freaking up. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Made it through most of the food. At least got to try out everything we had, which is awesome. Definitely what I wanted to do. So let's eat this. And then I'm going to get into that. We'll finish off, like I said, with the beautiful, 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 beautiful freaking chuck wagyu they have there, which is fantastic. Like, it is, it is, words cannot describe. I'm going to try this uh, short rib in my little sauce that I mixed up. Again, the beautiful mixture. Really great way to, uh, Add some flavor. Um, really complement the fatty tenderness of that beef. Throw some salt in this one. Mm. Oh man! Woo! Oh man! Jesus, thank you, God. Mm. Too good, guys. You have to like. Honestly, this is now like. This is one of, like this is one of the top. This is one of my favorite restaurants I've ever been to right, in Houston. Now, um, 
the beef it's just so good they do it so freaking well man it is damn good uh, and like I said everything from that marinated rib which is huge the, the, the just the garlic beef the of course like the more um, you know cuts like the freaking American Wagyu the freaking ribeye this beautiful thing this beautiful freaking chuck they have here man beautiful here's a uh, There's it right there. The wagon chuck right there. Absolutely beautiful. And the portions are super impressive. How much I got on that rib with the, was amazing. The ribeye was amazing. Um, it's just, I'm super. Again, did I mention I was impressed? Because I am damn impressed. And then I hear this beat. I think it's a great way to finish off. Uh, but yeah, everything was fantastic. And, and like I said, even after having something as like crazy as that Wagyu chuck, the American Wagyu, like the, sh the, the freaking marinated rib, that garlic beef, everything stood up. It was absolutely delicious. I'm super, like, like I said, so glad I came here. So glad I got to try all these freaking items. I definitely will be back with them in the area. But like I said, they do have a whole hot pot here as well, which obviously I didn't get to do today. Hopefully I get to try in the future. Man, I wish you could see how translucent that beef is. Just with that fat content. And of course, it's just absolutely dripping. Beautiful. I'm not even gonna put it on the plate. I'm just gonna directly salt it. And I'm just gonna put this in my mouth. Beautiful, guys. Oh my God. Beef is the most beautiful thing. Man, I can't say enough. All right, I'm gonna wait for these uh, winter carrots to cool off and to finish them up. But that everybody, that's pretty much about it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I absolutely loved it guys. If you're ever in the area, please stop up by. Um, Staff's been great, the food is fantastic. I can't say enough, like beef, if you're a beef lover, this is a place for you. They have it all, they have the quality, they have the exceptional flavors and uh, that's it. So that everyone, until next time, of course, happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. That was it. Again, I am, I'm in bliss. This was too damn good. But uh, that's it. So have a lovely day. Have a lovely life, guys. Come on by when you're in the Houston area. And until uh, next time, just get yourselves food. Thank God for beef. Thank God for everything. God bless you. And that's it. Just God bless you. I love you. Dang now it, cat. You're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. I and mean, also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.